Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back for another reaction of Monster. This is episode 67. This episode is called I'm Home. So last episode ended with uh, Nina pointing a gun at Johan at that location that Kapek uh, drove her through. Uh, we also know that uh, Tenma got the information from Kristoff and is heading there right now. So guys, without further ado, let's go. So guys, are Nina gonna shoot Johan or does she need Tenma's help? Right there, Are you Nina. Going to shoot me, like you did back then. That's right. Oh yeah, that's what she's going to do. To finally put an end to this. The end. Too much talking. What too exactly little shooting. Is the end? Come on, you can finish it right now. The end. The end. The end. The end. The end. The end. I've seen the end. Over and over. What is the end? This is... When she shoots you. You're going to die. And so am I. You've seen it. What exactly did you see? Tell me! What did you see? Speak up. We would like to know... You don't know, do you? I'll tell you about it. It's something that's truly horrifying. So here's the room. Let's go, Johan. Give us some information here. Something that's truly horrifying, you say? But it's mine to tell. A story of all the things I've seen. All of those details. The ones I told you about. Go on. When I was taken from our place at the Three Frogs, I was brought to a room that had no light. It was pitch black. Here we go, let's a go. A room without any walls. I'd reach out to touch them, but the room gave me no sense of up or down, left or right. But I knew someone was watching me. This room was completely devoid of sound. No. I did hear something. Sometimes I could hear screams coming from somewhere not too far away. My food seemed to appear out of nowhere. And I counted the number of meals as I ate them. Five. Six. Seven. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Twenty-one. So he was in there for a very long time? Twenty-three. When I couldn't keep track of them anymore. There was this man. Just standing there. Listen to me closely. People can become whatever they want to be. So that's Bonaparte, right? What's this? Tell me, is it really all right for a young child like you to be wandering around here? You know, this child's the one. Oh, so that's the child. One. Ah, you are a cute one. 
Ah, so this is the child. How wonderful! What a beautiful child you are. Take a good look. This child is the one. Ah, so this is the one. Here's the result. The result indeed. This one's special. One in a million. Here comes the one. And now, raise the glass and toast to our... I remember a man standing there talking. But I can only remember parts of what he was saying. ...new vision of society for us, the chosen ones. A toast to our country's future. Cheers! This is when they all died. And then what happened? first person collapsed, all the people around him rushed to his side. Then one by one, all of the other people in that room collapsed as well. Their moans of pain, frenzied shrieks, the screams. The whole room was engulfed with their fear. On that fateful day, Forty-two people perished in that room. But why? The only one left alive was Franz Bonaparte. Because he knew about it, right? I began to run. I ran away to escape that horrible place. I didn't even realize my arm was bleeding from getting scratched by the roses in the garden. I just ran. I ran all the way back to the three frogs. You were still there. You greeted me. I started to tell you. Hmm. For days and days. Explaining all of my experiences and what I had seen. So what? Like, like... But why does he see it as a girl? So was he dressing up? Or what did they dress him up? Even when he was little, like a girl? Right? Because it was a girl that entered and it looked like her. So maybe that is why he mimicked You're so Anna, wrong. right? Or Nina. You are wrong. <laughs> What is wrong about it? And here comes Senna. Okay. So was that like warning shots? Or did she try to kill him and couldn't do it? Or... Second. Nina. Can you hear me, Nina? Just calm down, all right? It's me, Tenma. This is a reunion, long time, like. You know who I am. Remember? So what did you did she shoot hey, Johan or what? Just relax. Calm down. That's it. That's better now. Uh, 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 
It's gonna be all right. You're all right now. Show it's us. Not. Is he gone? It's not. No. It wasn't me there. It wasn't me who greeted him when he returned. He wasn't the one who came back. I remember it. What I said was. So what? Was it her returning back? What is going on? I'm back. Welcome home. So yeah, yeah, yeah. They did dress. Johan's mistaken. Him up. Johan just listened to my story when I came back, because the one who was taken to the Red Rose Mansion was her. The one taken to the Red Rose Mansion. That child was me. That's why she remember also like getting scratched, right? Okay, that explains a lot, but why is he dressed up like One like her? Dragged away down that wooden stairway at the three frogs. The one who counted all those meals in that pitch black room that had no walls. The one who stood in that room surrounded by corpses. It's her. That child was me. It happened to me, all of it. I'm scared. I'm scared. Hmm. I'm so scared. <laughs> so where did Johan go now? Days and days. That's enough, Nina. I told Johan about all the terrible experiences I'd had, but Johan thinks my experiences. Please, Please just stop. Somehow Johan really believes that my experiences actually happened to him. Because I told him Johan has. It's all right. Just now, I told Johan everything. It looked like he was laughing as he listened to me. But it also looked like he was crying, too. I've... I've never seen such an expression before. His face. I've never seen anyone... who looked like that. I should have done it. But I couldn't shoot him. I'm sure of one thing. He will destroy himself just like me. I know that I will destroy myself. No, you won't. But don't you see that I have to do it? Nina, no! Don't do it. Hmm. Because if something happens to you, if you die, what will I do? If you were to die, where would I go without you, Nina? You can't give up. Please so like, alive. so is Johan just sick happen. somehow? And and like, I beg you, Nina. 
But like, he just wanna be her? Yeah, it's me. So you're telling me you found his car near the villa then? Yes, it's at the bottom of the ravine. I found Edward dead inside the car. We all know who did this. They found out now. I can guess Johan's next move. He'll kill Franz Bonaparte. That's who's next up on his list. Of course, like... His son's in Prague. I told Johan where to find him. I don't know what he's about to do with that information. But, do you really think that's where all this will end? Will his destruction actually come to an end there? But that's the thing, we don't know. His sister Nina's memory. Or something is missing from his sister's memory. Johan has another one. It's part of him. Another memory. Hmm. What was our goal? What was it that we were trying to create? What was our purpose? Tell me, Franz Bonaparte. Yeah, 100%. I had a feeling <laughs> that this, like, just the music and everything, like, Because they found out that he killed uh, one of the other guards, right? Or the guy in the car, I mean. It's alright. We'll find it. Where you belong. Where we belong. We'll find it somewhere. I hope so. Hey, I'm glad you came to visit. I never expected to see you around here. So who's this? Is well, this the son? Make yourself at home. I just made some hot tea. I've always wanted to share my very best tea with you like this. Do you like it? What do you think of the flavor? It's a special herbal blend of mine. I must say I'm quite impressed you'd come here to pay me a personal visit. I know this must be an important matter. So you need something done then. I'll handle whatever it is you need. Just tell me, who do you want me to murder next? Wow. Huh? Hey, don't joke around like that, Johan. Come on, stop it. <laughs> I woke up. Hmm? I woke up from the dream. Are you tired or something, Johan? What are you going to do about the plan? I said I woke up. Uh, hold on a minute. If you've changed your mind, what did I collect all that money for anyway, huh? I woke up from the dream. So tell me then, what, what is going on right now? For? There were so many visions I had of the end. But now, I'm picturing a different ending altogether. A clearer vision of the true ending. Mm -hmm. And he's gonna... It's from a memory only I have. The real place where I must be. 
Yeah, I knew it. He's gonna shoot him. Okay. Interesting. So I'm guessing that is the sun they talked about. Not sure. So this is Ruinheim. There he is. I found it. Still doing his own thing. At least he stopped, you know, chasing Tenma, right? Okay, so there we have it, guys. That was the end of the episode. Um, I am, I'm insanely confused here. Um, I'm not sure exactly what is going on, hundred um, percent. But what I gathered so far is that apparently, as we were told here, Nina or Anna was actually the one. Uh, experiencing all these things telling them to Johan which was dressed as her back home he then took her experiences and made them his own and has been killing and looking for the end or <laughs> something I don't know something along those lines right um, and I'm thinking Nina realizing that that it was actually her memories that he was using um, made her like wanna kill herself, I guess, because she, maybe she feels guilty that it's her fault that he is like that or something like that. I, I don't know. Um, then Chapik arrives, of course, and yeah, tells them that you know the next part is Franz Borapora. And that makes so much sense, right? Um, I kind of had a feeling that Chapik was not, you know, he was gonna die, right? Because you, you could see that guy had just given up after paranoid killing one of the the guards, right? And the other guards guards found out, and you know, we gonna work for a guy like that and then killed him, right? Um, I am not sure who it was that Johan visited there in the end. Uh, definitely one of his subordinates, I guess, because, you know, he, he told us that what is all the money for that I collected? What is, what is the, yeah, what, who will I murder next, right? So, it's definitely one of the psychos that Johan has been messing with or, like, using, right? Um, but that, that's my guess, right? But that's how it felt here. Um, why he shot him, I don't know. Talking about like that he woke up and saw the like the place that he needs to be. Is that because Nina and him had that conversation? Um, yeah, that's the thing. I, I, I pure guesses here. Uh, I still think that Johan is sick somehow, um, wanting to be her and all that like or maybe he was jealous of her getting all the attention back then uh, <laughs> um, I, I don't know like it, it, it's weird um, but like I'm very mysterious I will, I will say that I am very intrigued to find out where it all leads and how all this is gonna end um, we will see right but uh, you guys can let me know if if I'm like you know a little bit on the track here or if I'm completely off. Of course, don't spoil it for me, but still you are allowed to tell me if uh, if I'm getting at it, right? So yeah, I guess that's it, guys. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching as always. Please leave a like. I would appreciate it so much. See you next time. Peace.